Hey, hey, Cuspers, Leo, and Virgo Cusps. How are you? It's Lana, the Canadian Medium. And I just pulled you some cards. I know I'm late. I'm late. I'm mean, already into August, but I just started doing this and I'm starting to really pick up already and I'm having a hard time juggling it all. So, okay, here's what we're getting. Um, this is a career spread or money spread. And what we're getting is, yeah, be careful with your money right now. You might be coming up with an un, un, unknown expense. And if you're looking for a job, uh, you're probably not, you're probably going to stick with what you got right now for, because you're going to have some issues where even if you got offered a job, it'd probably be a little bit less. So you just stick the, stick to the high road. You're doing fine. There are some things coming as you're working. I feel like some of you guys may have taken a trip or you might be taking a trip or, um, for fun. You might be doing some fun stuff right now. Okay. Um, just Watch, watch it. If you decide to take a job, be very sure you get everything in writing. Be very, very sure you know what you're making. Okay. Not saying they're going to rip you off, but just be careful. Okay. Cause you know, you don't want to go to a job that you probably like even less and you probably are like making less money. I mean, that'd suck. So don't do that. Okay. Um, right now there's a little bit of a money confusion. Like I said, there it's, it's a little bit hidden. There's a there's you have the moon crossing you, which is a little bit of a confusion. Um, you are coming out of the Mercury in retrograde, so um, things should be settling down a little. But as far as those jobs, make sure you get it writing. Okay. Um, finances, like I said, you probably have something popping up. I don't think it's it's really really expensive, but it's something you're going to have to pay for that you don't really know about yet. So just a warning on that, all right? Um, it might even be a car. I'm getting a chariot, and sometimes the chariot is a car. It might be a small car expense or something, or, you know, your insurance is due and you forgot, or it's something of that order, okay, for most of you. And remember, by the way, hit like and subscribe, guys, because, um, yeah, I could use some new subscribers, and I'm going to offer start offering free readings. Now, I am a, re a medium by the way. So I don't use cards. I don't need them because I'm talking to your dead relatives. Okay. Um, and these cards are for you guys out there because there's a lot of people watching these and it's more of a general read. And if it doesn't resonate with you, well, sorry, fine. Go to another person on YouTube. I'm okay with that. Never jealous. That's okay. Okay. So just a warning, be careful. I do feel like something you're trying to get away from something guys so i don't feel like it's necessarily you're being deceitful but something's not kosher as far as your finances right now like i said there's unhidden don't spend anything if you can help it or even put a few hundred dollars away just in case okay because it does feel like that's gonna be um what is gonna get you through it okay you got a devil card too and that's happening in the next couple weeks and the devil card kind of means that um what are you chained to do you know what i'm saying are you chained to money are you are you are you an addict to something are you gambling too much are you drinking too much are you spending too much it's something you are addicted to it or it can become an obsession so just be careful okay they're they're suggesting to be careful of your money i mean right now you got a really good card you're going on a party or you're, you're doing something you're gathering with some people you got two cards just like that so if you go maybe you may be this week coming home from your vacation or it's something of that order okay so just a thought i know that it's probably not the world's best read but if i'm warning you then it was meant to be and just be careful, okay? Now, as far as love, I'm going to pull some love cards for you, too. There's some new love coming in, maybe. Let's see what we get, okay? And hit, if you hit like and subscribe, like I said, you might win a free reading with me. I'm starting to get busy with readings. I've only been doing this for two weeks. I've been practicing for almost 25 years. So I've been doing this a very long time, and I probably average a few reads a day. So over the course, as I've been doing this a long time, so... Um, hit my, you can go on EnchantedSky.com and hit my uh, information on my website. You can go to my blog page, The Wise Woman Sage. 
You can, uh, dot com. <laughs> you can do um, Land of the Painting Medium, which is soon going to be Land of the Comedian Medium. It takes forever from Facebook. It takes up to a year for them to change it. And um, Instagram, Twitter, I'm on all of it. Okay? So let's see what we're getting for a reading for love for my cuspers, my Leo Virgo cuspers. Hmm. Stability. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Inspiration. Kind of feel like a couple of you guys feel like you may be stuck. You may not be in the kind of relationship you would like to be in. Okay. Um, there's new opportunities coming in as far as a person. Um, I want to say from what I'm feeling, they're Virgo too, possibly. I'm not sure on that. But I, there's a possibility of connecting. You may connect with somebody that you've known before. and Or you may connect, connect. I almost feel like the person you may be connecting with is a very, very deep friendship. Not just, it could be just a lover. You could do both. I mean, you, you know. But I do feel like there's a very deep like and friendship. Um, a couple of you, I feel like... You're setting down roots. You may be getting married or engaged or making a commitment to somebody. Okay. So don't be afraid to do that. It's a good, good time to do that. Um, like I said, combining it with the money. If you're making a commitment, you're going to need the money if you're going to get married or engaged or move in with somebody. So that could be connecting with each other. Okay. Um, I want to say there, there might be some people entering new relationships too, but for most of you, you've kind of known these people before. Are you, uh, you know of these people or you're connected to them already? Okay. And there's kind of, I want to say you're taking a new inspiration to the next step and there's going to be, see, I'm seeing weddings and you may even go to a party. You may even be at a, go to a wedding now in the month of August. Okay. Um, let's see what else I'm getting. I want to say their spirits tell me to take a leap of faith. And I think that that's when it comes to your relationships. Okay. Um, if you've been dating somebody, go ahead and make the commitment because it's the right thing. Okay. And it is, you're right. It is a fairly decent month in love. There's inspiration. You know, should you, should you, your, could you take your heart? You don't know which direction to turn your head or your heart. Which one are you going to do? You know? So, Choose what feels right. Because, you know, honestly, your heart is where your shot, where your root chakra is. Or not your root, but your uh, your main chakra is right here. It is in your stomach. And, you know, that's also where your soul is. So, so when they somebody said, I get a gut feeling. And that gut feeling means that you're talking to your soul. Okay? So, just remember, if you aren't quite sure which direction to go, Always use that little gut feeling because it's always right. Okay. So now let's do a real quick uh, moon for you. All righty. Uh, moonology cards. These are nice. They're just, they're pleasant. I'm in the process of developing my own tarot cards. I'm an artist too. And I got a couple, a couple of them done, but you know, it takes time, you know, can't go real fast, but okay. All right. What do we got? today have faith in your dreams emotions are running high meditate and contemplate be bold and make the first move nothing will come of this which means nothing will come of this doesn't mean nothing will come out of the situation that you're in what it'll mean is nothing bad well you know nothing from the decisions you're making nothing bad is going to happen to you because you did this Okay, so that's a little bit, that's a hard, kind of hard to complain, come kind of talk about. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, remember I told you to go after the relationship and be careful, okay? Like I said, some people might be trying to do a new, a new uh, job. Just be careful, get it all in writing, have faith in it, meditate. Meditation works, I'm telling you. I'm doing all kinds of meditation and right now I'm writing a book called Conversations with God because I'm think I swear I, I didn't know that was God talking but it may be an angel or a guide or something but they're telling me stuff that's been very accurate too and I'm like 
And I'm doing it while I'm meditating right before I fall asleep at night. Seems like it's working. So anyway, all right. So don't go ahead. If you want them to make that move in the job, go for it. You can go for it. But just be careful. You may need money later in the month. And be careful. Make sure you get everything in writing. Okay? Because to me, it feels like some people won't be, will be offered less money than they really thought they were going to be or really deserved. So just be careful. Okay? All right. Um, also, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I always offer a little advice. So one of the advice I'm giving to all my people this month is everybody's got a role to play, you know, in life. So if you want to play the caregiver, that's what you do. If you want to play the martyr, that's what you do. Well, everybody's got to play a role and one of them is asshole. Okay. They, an asshole this is what I came up with as I'm, as I'm, you know, I talk as a medium, I talk to people on the other side and I've met a couple of people that I swear that shouldn't be on the other side in heaven. Cause um, they were rotten people. And I asked them one time, I said, well, why are you there? I mean, and this is what they said to me and I haven't forgotten it. And this was a good 20 years ago. You know, everybody has a role to play. And my role in that lifetime was to be an asshole. And, and I like, really? I didn't quite understand and explain it better. And he's, they're like, well, how are you ever going to appreciate kindness? How are you ever going to appreciate people that have done good things to you if you don't have somebody who's a total asshole? How are you going to learn the lessons you have to learn if some, everybody's always nice to you? And everybody, you know, you have to have somebody to instigate something to, to for soul growth. So I was like, wow, that's that's true. <laughs> I was like, you know, and I'm thinking, hmm. So the next time somebody is an asshole to you, thank them because they're helping you on your journey to become a better person and to self-actualize. Okay? So there you have it. That's your reading. Take care, namaste, hit the like button, and as my subscription is starting to grow, I'm going to start offering free readings, okay? Bye.